Hello, welcome to Creations. Today I am at the beautiful Banyan Dree Golf Course to get outside with nature. It's beautiful. I have the beach in the background, trees, it's gorgeous. So today I am going to teach you guys how to make toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls into beautiful wall art. Yes, I said toilet paper rolls. You're thinking this woman has gone crazy officially. So start saving them up. Um, I asked my coworkers, said, please give me your paper towel rolls. And I got quite a few. I have my collection at home. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm like obsessed with acrylic paint right now. And so what I did is I went to Arts and Crafts and this is a water-based metallic acrylic paint. And uh, I got a gold and a champagne. I also have these little guys. And these are also water-based acrylic paints. And this, these are iridescent blues. Um, I also have just some regular colors. For these are accent colors. Whatever you want to do. Um, you can also make it look like faux metal by getting spray paint. Um, and making it, spray painting it so it looks like that has that hard metal finish. So, you guys are going to help me finish my project. Um, I have my pre-cut paper towel rolls, unpainted, and I also have ones that I pre-painted. If you want to do it to where it's all the same color on the outside and the inside, pre-paint it. If you want to do it where I have gold on the outside and a pink on the inside, you can do that as well, and it's easier to do it after it's been cut. So, the idea is to make a flower like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get five of these little guys. And what I do is I usually start with two. I use my glue gun. I put a good amount of glue on there. And I start placing them on the glue like this until I get a beautiful flower and uh, really the hardest thing is just um, getting it to line up in the middle and also trying to cut them the same length um, I just freehand cutted them like this I kind of once I paint I kind of push them down and I just eyeball it you just kind of cut like so. And what's cool is the paint actually loosens them up. So they're really not difficult to cut at all. Just like so. And you just keep doing this. This is a project that you can, you know, make a month long, months long project. I've actually been doing this for a couple of months now doing different things. What I kind of started, you could also do a, a free floating one. I've just started gluing flowers together and I'm just gonna see where it takes me. See how big, I'm gonna do like my whole bedroom wall of just faux metal art. My husband will love it. Um, <laughs> and so what I did is I took a picture frame and what's cool about this idea is you don't have to have the glass. So if the glass broke or if you don't no longer have the glass. And I took the iridescent paint and I just started swirling it in the background. Uh, the green and the blue and then I took a little of the champagne to kind of make it like a natural background. And I started pressing down my flowers. And so this is what it looks like beforehand with the frame. I have two of the same, so you can also go a little smaller with a frame just like this. If you're like, oh, that's too much, you can do this, get a background, and just make it simple. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glue on the inside, and you're just going to start placing it down. What I love about this is there's no pattern. There's no set way to do this. You can make it however you would like. I love doing stuff like that. With some arts and crafts, you have to do it a certain way. I really enjoy just having the freedom to just put things where I would like them. And I wanna put this guy over here. There we go, and one more. 
like so. And what's awesome is the glue's automatic and you can start forming your beautiful picture just like so. One alternative idea is a freestanding. I did this one for my daughter and I painted them all different colors of iridescent and then I glued little pearls and I put it on a string of pearls and I have this hanging up in her room. So you can do a lot of these and they're really fun to do. It's really relaxing and so I just, and the painting took quite a long time. So you just have fun with it. We make freestanding, you can make wall art in a frame that you no longer use or see where your imagination takes you and just start creating something that you don't know exactly what it is yet. So get your acrylic water-based paint, Arts and Crafts has it, your glue gun, your paint brushes and just have fun, create and do it outside. It's so beautiful today and I'm so inspired and I hope you are too. Thanks guys. Hey! <laughs>